Oh, let's keep it going for the bus stop, Mike, here at bar 33. No? Come on, wake up. All right. Uh, just, just as a public service announcement, just to get things going, I, uh, I do a lot of drugs. <laughs> I've done a lot of drugs. All the best times, most outrageous times I've had on drugs. But that doesn't mean you have to do them. The best times I've had, though, on drugs. You know, I treat drugs like underwear, right? You know, really don't have to have them, but it's good to have a fresh set in case of an accident. No. I, uh, I grew up in a time when uh, cannabis was, the, the propaganda surrounding cannabis, marijuana was scared crazy. Right? They said if you touched it, you became addicted. And if you smoked it, you went crazy and played piano while your girlfriend murdered people. <laughs> it's an insane time. You know, we didn't have the D.A.R.E. program when I was growing up. We just had a cop with a piece of cardboard. And onto it were stapled all these drugs and little baggies, right? With these index card explanations. Me being the industrious kid that I was, I went up and memorized each one. I was going to use it as a checklist for my teenage years. I didn't have Pokemon back then, but I was going to catch them all. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I like edibles. Anybody else? You know, those candy confections that get you totally fucked up? Yes. Yeah. You know, I, I, sometimes I guess I like them too much. You know, my doctor says I need to cut back on the sugar. She says sugar, more addictive than cocaine. I got a believer on this one because, I mean, have you experienced Oreos? <laughs> it's a cookie. Goo. More cookie. Oh, they're awesome. Although, I, I got to say, cocaine is totally easier to snort. <laughs> I, uh, I did shrooms the other day and took a bike ride. You know, and, and, and people say, oh, you know, must have been, must have been fun, must have been totally crazy, like in a cartoon. I go, no, it was more like GTA, right? You know, everything seemed animated, but it felt so real. Maybe because it was real. It just didn't feel that way. I think I'm getting lost in that explanation. But I got hungry, so I went in, I got some noodles, right? Some chicken and some noodles. And I sat down, I had to send the noodles back. They were moving way too much, all right? And they started having this conspiracy talk about taking over the kitchen with the broccoli and the carrots. Yeah. Sent it back, got the rice. It was quiet. But that's what shrooms will do to you. Make your food come alive. It was all fun, all fun. I, uh, I've been diagnosed with three different types of cancer. And I've used cannabis to treat them all. You know, I've, I've used RSO and extracts. I've used flour and hash. I've used tinctures and edibles. I've taken raw leaf and poured oils all over my body. It seems to have worked. There is one major side effect, though. I've been high for like 20 years. <laughs> it's a good feeling. Like this morning, you know, I, I got up and I had a couple of bowls, and then I ate some cereal. <laughs> I knew it was a bit too high at the intersection when I kept waiting for the stoplight to turn or the stop sign to turn green. <laughs> I, uh, you know, um, I grow my own plants. I, I I call it my garden, and and most people don't know that cannabis comes in a male in a female version. It's, it's one, of the only, one of the few plants that have both sexes. And you only get the powerful, potent THC from the flowers provided by the female plant, right? They're the ones that are pretty, they smell good. Whereas the male, he's just trying to spread his seed and fuck it all up. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I do grow my own cannabis, and, and if you go online, and you try and get information about growing plants, right? You get all this crazy stuff. They'll tell you, oh, 
you got to trim off the bottom three branches. Ah, you got to shave the sides, you know, and shear the top. Call me old fashioned, but for my female cannabis plants, I prefer a full bush. <laughs> I'm Dennis, that's my time.